What's up guys, sit here, uh, I got a bunch of interesting stuff to show you as you can see. Um, Ayla and I went out yard sailing uh, on free comic book day. We were going to go uh, to some comic book stores and pick up some free comic books, but uh, I got really sick the night before. I still wasn't feeling tip top uh, on Saturday the 2nd. So, I, and I know I did have some laundry to do and I had some groceries to get and whatnot. Uh, so I had to get a laundromat and whatever. So <clears throat> I was trying to take it easy, so I didn't want to do a whole lot. Uh, and as I went, because uh, the nearest town is about nine miles from me. So when I got there, uh, it turned out that there was a whole bunch of yard sales and garage sales uh, happening. So we ended up uh, just doing yard selling together. And uh, I'm glad I stayed in town because... Um, got some good stuff. I didn't get a lot, so there's not quantity, but there's definitely, definitely quality. Um, so anyway, we'll get right into it. First up, I'm going to show you these. I went back to my guy uh, that I got a bunch of records at the other day, and I got some autograph records. Uh, you guys saw the Skeeter Davis, uh, the Bill Phillips, the Kitty Wells, the Hank Thompson multi-signed album. I went back to that guy, so that was the only thrift store stop uh, that I did. And I got some records. These were all a buck apiece. Uh, and I got some unfortunate news. Um, I, and we'll get to that when we get to that. But it's mostly going to be Johnny Cash records. Uh, I love Johnny Cash. I collect him. Um, so we have uh, Johnny Cash, Hymns from the Heart. Nice older record there. Uh, this is a nice old one here. This is uh, Johnny Cash. Now there was a song, Country Memories from the Past. Both uh, Columbia records there. And then we got some Bill Monroe. Uh, big fan of Bill Monroe. Uh, love bluegrass music. Uh, this is a really nice old one here. Bill Monroe sings uh, country songs with the Bluegrass Boys. And this is on Vocalion, a division of Decca Records. Pretty cool. And then we have a promo copy here, uh, Bill Monroe, Bean Blossom 79. This is right there in gold for promotion only. All right, now here's the unfortunate news here. This is Webb Pierce. I thought I had found another autographed album. Well, another. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. But it's another one of those that was uh, addressed to Rosie. And you remember the Skeeter Davis record I had was, uh, I had a little note supposedly written by Skeeter on there to Rosie. And then the Hank Thomas record had a, it was inscribed to Rosie and also Jim. Well, this appears to be in the same handwriting as the Skeeter Davis uh, album. It says here, 9-3-1966, Rosie Honey, I Wish You Were Mine, Webb, as, as in Webb Pierce. And it also says right here, you can't see it, but it says, Forget Jim. I'm thinking Jim just wrote this stuff on these albums. The handwriting looks exactly like the handwriting on the Skeeter Davis album. So, uh, in my opinion, it's, it, I don't believe that that Skeeter Davis album was inscribed by her. So, I'm probably going to have to toss that. Now, the Hank Thompson record is authentically signed. Uh, all the signatures are different. They all match up to everything I've seen. That is an authentically signed album. But uh, this, this Webb Pierce album, look at this thing, by the way, anyway. Good Lord. Now that's some old time bling. But this album and the Skeeter Davis album, I, I do not believe were uh, inscribed by either one of those. So I wanted, to, I wanted to go ahead and buy this and bring it home. But I had a feeling when I saw it, so I'll be probably throw this one out and the Skeeter Davis one I'll throw out too. Uh, the great Bill Monroe and his Bluegrass Boys still has the shrink wrap on there. Pretty cool. And then we're back to Johnny Cash. We have Johnny Cash's Greatest Hits, Volume 1. And this is the Johnny Cash Collection, Greatest Hits, Volume 2. Another nice old one, Johnny Cash, Songs of Our Soil. And last, this is uh, Johnny Cash is Coming to Town. 
So very cool. All right. Next up, this is a really cool find. This might actually be the find of the day. But this is a print. This is a print by an L.S. Lowry. Um, his drawing here that he did was done in 1968. And this is uh, entitled Family Discussion. Um, this was printed in 1970 and published in 1974 uh, in a limited edition of 850 copies uh, by Henry Don out of Lancashire, England. And you can might be able to see right there, um, right here, there is an actual, it's stamped, limited edition. Really hard to see. And then it is numbered right here, 705 out of 850. Not in the greatest shape, but it will clean up some, and you can frame it, mat it and frame it, uh, definitely, and it'll look really nice. But, um, Ellis Lowry was a very famous artist, and it does have a slight crease here. But, very famous artist who, of course, has passed away. Um... You can see that stamp a little bit better right now. And uh, his works are slowly increasing in value. Uh, signed and unsigned works. Um, now I've contacted a few galleries out of England for some more information on this piece. But this piece might end up being, you know, a few hundred dollars. I don't know. I'm, I don't want to, you know, jump to conclusions as of yet. Because, like I said, the condition's not the greatest on it. But uh, I'm excited to hopefully find out soon a little bit more about it. So that'll be a to be continued. I paid a dollar for that at a yard sale. Uh, and at the same yard sale, I picked this up. Really nice uh, old style hat here. So I guess that's, I guess they call that a snapback, kind of a trucker style hat. Uh, signed by Ernest Tubb. This was um, picked up at his record store. And it says right there, Ernest Tubb and the Texas Troubadours. Ernest Tubb, of course, is a very famous country artist who has now passed away. But he wanted $2 for that, and I gave him a buck. And at the same yard sale, I also picked up these comic books. Obviously, not in very good shape. Uh, but I grabbed them anyway. They were a buck a piece. Got Amazing Spider-Man number 192. Amazing Spider-Man number 170. And Billy the Kid number 126. This is all John Severn art inside. So very cool. All right, moving on. Oh. And at the same place I got the records, the guy had a few model kits up uh, up on top shelf I hadn't seen before. And I spotted this as I was almost leaving. 1978, monogram, this is a vampire Chevy van. Really cool graphics on there. Still sealed, guys. This has never been opened. Really, really super cool. So I asked the guy, I said, how much do you want for your model kit? And he said, uh, 10 bucks. They're going for like 25. And I thought to myself, well, yeah, you're right. And I said, uh, would you take eight? And he acted like he didn't want to take eight, but he ended up taking it. Thought I was able to snag this for eight bucks. And there was only one, there's none currently on eBay, and there's only one that sold recently, and it sold for 20 bucks, and it was opened. Uh, it was 20 bucks plus uh, shipping. So usually when the item is sealed, it's normally worth about double. So I'd say it's, this is probably worth, I'd say, at least $35, $40 in sealed condition. I don't know if I'm going to put it together yet or keep it sealed. I haven't made up my mind. But really happy to get that. All right, next up, I think everything else was at one yard sale. Yep. So I, pay, I paid, I got a few other things for Ayla at this particular yard sale. So I, ended, I, was, I paid $16 for everything I got. Um, 
but uh, like I said, there was a few things in there for her. So I think everything here is pretty much a, you know, a dollar or two. The most expensive thing was probably this, which is probably four or five, but we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, first up, we have this book. This is Oklahoma State University History Making Basketball. Really nice condition, hardcover book. This is all about uh, Oklahoma State University basketball. Uh, John Starks played for OSU. But really nice book, and as you can see here, it is signed and numbered. Now, what I find odd, though, is that this is number 3,007 out of 3,000. <laughs> it's like, how can that be? But regardless, it is signed here by Henry P. Iba, very famous basketball coach. He is in the Basketball Hall of Fame. Uh, died in 1993, which is uh, only one year after this book was published. There's John Starks right there. There's Mr. Iba himself. And there's his uh, facsimile signature here inside the book. But really very cool to find this uh, signed and numbered book. Not sure what that... What 300, what 3,007 out of 3,000 means, but regardless, still a very cool book. Uh, when I picked up this signed cassette tape, this is Martin Del Rey, Get Rhythm. Uh, Martin Del Rey is out of Arkansas. He only came out with two albums in his career, very short career, but still kind of neat to find that. Uh, then we got uh, Branson Mall Music Theater 50s Live at the Hop video cassette. Uh, and it is signed here on the back by probably two of the performers. I haven't researched it yet. But that was kind of interesting. Uh, we got a couple of pictures here. This one's really nice. Uh, this is a pen and ink and marker uh, picture. Uh, this is should be done by a local guy. Uh, looks like Tom Huff there at the bottom, 1996. But just a really nice uh, pen and ink uh, with marker drawing here, and in, in a really nice frame. So I just had to grab that up. Probably put that in my son's room. He loves fishing. But this one, again, in a very cool frame. Uh, this one I'm probably going to do one of my found art pieces on it. Um, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with it yet, but I'll probably uh, paint on this one. Some kind of horrific scene. Poor little girl. You don't know what's coming. There's that. And this is awesome. Check this out, guys. This is still in the box. Kodak Movie Deck. 467 projector check that out from 1976 and I also got the fold up screen here very cool can't wait to break this out and try it out hopefully the bulb still works but super excited to get some super 8 movies and Start watching them. I, I know my dad used to have a bunch when he was alive. But I haven't really messed with it since then. But looking forward to going on eBay and getting a movie or two and trying this out and seeing if it works. So that'll be a to be continued. I'll get back to you guys on that. So that's everything, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, we'll talk to you all later. See you.